Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first insider builds that have rolled out for 2025, which Microsoft pushed out late on Friday last week in my part of the world. And Microsoft rolled out a Canary and a beta channel insider build. Now, first of all, focusing on the Canary channel, not much really happened for the Canary channel um, for last week, where Microsoft says the update includes a small set of improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PC. So basically, this is just fixes pertaining to the Canary channel and issues that users have been experiencing in the Canary channel, where the first is they fixed an issue where if you roll back from build 27764 to an earlier build, you would see and your organization used app control for business to block this app dialog when attempting to use or install certain third-party apps on your PC. And this was all according to Microsoft due to an incorrect policy being enforced. And then if you were seeing an error, 0xc190010, uh, it has been addressed and apparently this was due to an increase in rollbacks, the error. So these are just stability issues that Microsoft has fixed in the Canary channel and then they also fixed an issue which was causing some insiders in Canary to experience frequent explorer.exe crashes after they clean installed or reset their PC and your explorer.exe is your start menu taskbar and so on, the shell of your actual OS. So just a couple of general improvements to bring more stability into the Canary channel to start off the year. Now focusing quickly on the bait channel and the first has already rolled out with 24H2 and the reason the beta channel is seeing this next new feature is because in effect the beta channel is still version 23H2 where Microsoft says to make it easier to use the File Explorer context menu, labels have been added to previously unlabeled actions like cut, copy, paste, rename, share, and delete, and so on. So that's now making its way soon into version 23H2. And then something else I have posted on previously, which I'll leave the video to this link down below and in the end screen, in addition to the keyboard shortcut control alt and minus to quickly toggle between the current zoom and one bar zoom introduced in a previous build which I posted on link down below end screen Microsoft now has also added buttons in the magnifier to reset zoom to fit to screen and reset zoom to your last preferred magnification and what we are looking at here are the new buttons uh, in magnify to reset zoom to fit to screen and reset zoom to your last or preferred magnification highlighted in this red box as mentioned and then something else I've also posted on which I'll leave linked down below in the end screen uh, suggested actions that appear when you copy a phone number or future date in Windows 11 are now deprecated so with this build Microsoft says it's beginning to disable the feature but go check that video out for more info and then they fixed a few issues they say that were impacting uh, the file explorer performance and reliability which I'm always happy to see when Microsoft does focus on bringing more re performance and rel reliability and stability into the file explorer so guys that's what's new in our first two new insider uh, flights for this year that's the canary and the beta channel and those builds rolled out late last week on Friday in my region. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.